Welcome to version 2.0 of this tutorial, okay? This is my current mask, as it is, all right? Um, so I made this video to address a couple things that in the last video I kind of left on a cliffhanger. Um, I'll go over those right now. So last video, um, I had, I mentioned airflow issues, okay? Um, so since then I've made a lot of improvements on the airflow for these masks um, It's still a standard um, snorkel mask you can get for 20 bucks on eBay or, or anywhere else um, So before I had this thing going where you would make a little air pocket you would fold it together Make a little air pocket as I had mentioned and then seal it off but that didn't really um, it worked to a degree but if you did any type of physical activity, like trying to go to your car or anything else, you might, you might start to feel um, a little bit of restriction in your lungs. So this video will um, take care of that. Um, and the, the way I figured it out is because, as I mentioned before, it has to do with surface area. So what I did was figure out a way so this is just a standard tea ball that you can get at any store where you seep your tea inside. A cheap thing is like a dollar fifty or something. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it apart. You can take it apart. You can use one side of this thing. Okay? So you can use this. This is your airflow airflow solution right here. Okay. Um so basically what the improvement does is it gives you more space for your air to escape and to enter the mask as opposed to it being um, when you fold it together like this if you inhaled it would start to collapse that part a little bit um, and that would obviously ref restrict your airflow so this is basically preventing that okay um, so that's the T-ball. You can get this anywhere, pretty much. Um, so now, in the last video, I um, explained how to reuse an N95, which you can still do, um, but since then there have been a lot of different studies. People have researched different materials that are readily available since N95s are still pretty hard to come by. Um, and this has been the consensus. This is a standard shop rag. There's a specific brand gear, or a couple different brands that you're supposed to get um, to make it work. But this is pretty much the material, the main material, one of the main materials that I use. Okay. And in order to use this, you basically just cut it in half, or fold it in half, cut that roughly in half okay and this is one main material you can use um, I believe in the testing they said that it filters about 93% of the particles that were tested which is pretty close to 95 which is what an N95 does um, what else you can still use an N95 and I'll explain that later um, but other than that <clears throat> My friend Joe here, who's also a safety instructor, is going to show you how it's assembled. Okay. So she's positioning the T-ball directly over the mouth, the, uh, the air nozzle on the mask, like before. And you're holding it in place as best as possible. Then you're taking a rubber band or an elastic or anything you can find to secure that in place. And basically what you're trying to do is make sure that all the sides are sealed around the nozzle, just like that, okay? So when she puts it on, Perfect. How, how's your breathing there, Joe? It's good? All right, cool. Okay, so next, another thing that I wanted to address in this video 
is um, a lot of people have expressed concerns over general people using masks that when you take them off or you go inside your car, you're going to throw it somewhere or it's just going to sit somewhere where things can be contaminated anyway. There's cross-contamination. So you could solve that issue with what I call a decontamination box like this. It could be a box. It could be a decontamination bag. Anything that when you're finished, let's say I'm finished going grocery shopping, right? I'm going back inside my car. When I go back inside my car, I'm going to pull my mask off, I'm not touching anything but, you know, just the sides there, placing it right in my decon box. And a very optional but very effective um, thing to use is one of these UV um, light sterilizers. Stick that in there as well. Close the top of your decon box or seal it in the bag if you're using a bag. And then there you go. Your car is safe from any cross-contamination, anything airborne coming off of there. Okay? So that addresses two huge concerns, the airflow issues from last time and the new concern of cross-contamination. Um, so that's that. I also wanted to say that there's a few other materials that you could use for your mask. Um, as opposed to this, if you, can't, if you can't get your hands on any of this, you could still use an N95. But this time I would suggest using the full N95, so you would actually place both, look at my hands here, you would place both sides of the N95 over the opening, and then you would tie it down, um, where's my last bit? anyway, you would tie it down around the opening, hi Dookie, um, you can do it that way. There's also a lot of other materials that people have been testing and coming out with, I'll include those in the links below. Um, but one last thing that I wanted to give you guys as a bonus tutorial. Because um, my friend Joe here wears glasses, so, so the snorkel mask is not always that great when you're wearing glasses or if you don't have access to a snorkel mask. Get yourself a headband. Simple headband, anything will do. Um, well, it'll probably work best if you use a plastic headband so that the tape will adhere. Basically all you need is a headband, some clear tape, packaging tape, and a, um, an overhead transparency. I know people barely use these. This is just standard overhead transparency. I know people have projectors now so it doesn't really matter, but um, basically all you do, really simple. Cut yourself a piece of tape. Cut that in half. Place okay. the transparency on top of that. Okay. Put your headband and there you go really simple quick and easy face shield okay and I think that's about it thanks for watching please share and be safe out there